Yeah. So these missions did not earn me that much monies, but it earned me sciences. So, how many science? You, you gained uh, almost half a million Kobo bucks. Really? You had, you had, you only had That's how much it cost me to do the mission. I only got all that because I was able to do the surface sample, so, it, you know, the surface sample cost me half a million Kerbal bucks, so... I'm remembering that I was close to a million before the mission started, so... I'm basing it on that, and so... It paid for itself. See how much oh. your mission cost on the launch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go, go and double check yeah I've, been mean, I've been meaning to ask you guys. You guys would talk about, you know, looking at your mission logs and stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'm like where do you do that? Mission no, control no. and under completed. Yeah. But um, but when, when the stream started, you only had about 500 Kerbo Locks in five. Or am I thinking of... Um, yeah, but you were you know, looking at archived yeah. missions then? Yeah, but there's no actual yeah. finances screen. Right, that's not quite the same. That's... that's... these aren't even in order of when I did them. This is all alphabetical, so... I mean, that's great that it tracks that. That's that's cool and all, but no, that doesn't tell me anything like what we're trying to talk about here. Oh, no, um, if you click on the launch pad and you click on the rocket that you launch, it'll tell you the cost of it. Of that rocket, sure. That rocket didn't cost me. I'm talking about the, what the mission cost me. It, there's, there's no balance. The, the, right. Right. There's what did it? What, how much money did I have right before that launch? How much did I spend on all the various things? Because there's lots of things to spend money on. I had to upgrade this building to do this. You know, I had to upgrade my science, which was ridiculously expensive. That was four hundred fifty thousand. Or four hundred? Yeah, yeah, four hundred fifty thousand. Uh, so I could do the surface sample. If I couldn't do that surface sample, then I would be short some stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, while technically that wasn't a direct result of one particular mission. I count it, and any, you know, any budget officer at NASA would count such things, too. These things were all required to do this. Sure, they may help for future missions, and that's great, and I absolutely understand that, and I realize that it's an investment in the future. Got okay. it, noted, understood. However, that doesn't change the fact I had to spend it to do this mission. Okay. That's the way that I look at it. Now, once it's paid for by this mission, which it is, it was paid for by this mission, but technically this whole mission was a net loss monetarily. Well, it was a net gain scientifically and will ultimately advance the Kerbal kind. Uh, that's great, and I'm all for it, and I know that that's what we need. Okay. It's a net loss monetarily. You're, you're, you're probably at a net loss of uh, about half a million. No, I'm at a net, I'm at a net loss of about 20000 Based on what I had when I started this whole thing. I gained money, I lost money, we spent money on the ship, we spent money on the upgrades. But I think I had about 990000 I think. I don't know. We can go back and look at the, at the episodes later on YouTube. But, meh. Um, by the way, plug in my YouTube channel like crazy, guys. We are actually going to start giving bonus points for those of you who go and comment on my YouTube videos. Um, so make sure you go over there. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like and a follow. Um, you will have to let me know if you, you know if your YouTube nickname is different than your Twitch name. We'll have to know what that is so that we can you know, correlate that. Uh, which we may utilize the forum to make that happen. But right now we'll just go with you. Tell me that you are this person, and we'll and you you claim these points. We'll make it happen. Um, but I want to see some activity on my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, I've been putting a lot of time in there. I mean, literally, like, I have a 40-hour a 40 hour a week job. I stream 30 to 40 hours a week. I have a kid. And now this last week, I put 20 hours into YouTube. I don't, I, I have no sleep. I'm, I'm eating into my sleep time doing all this. But I want to make it look nice. I've actually got an intro now. I've got title cards. I've got an outro. Uh, the outro could use some improvement. The title card could use some improvement. The intro, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I want to f uh, snazz up Beardo Vision a little bit, but we got basically we have a title card, goes to the little intro animation, and then Beardo Vision. In case, if you haven't seen Beardo, Vi uh, Beardo Vision, Beardo Vision! There it is. So, um, with that, I'm gonna. Oh, there's Travis. 
Uh, I was just about to hit the bathroom, man. Can you hold on just a second? No. No, uh, of course not. <laughs> I'll be right back, man. Microphone muted. Uh, since recently, Chunk, like past couple of days, we just posted about it on the um, Scarlet River Gaming forum. Okay, I am back. And Travis, first off, I want to say I'm so sorry about what's happened with your wife, man. That really blows. And all the shitty customers you've been having to deal with. No problem, actually. Uh, everything over the last the last few days that happened was extremely calculated. Yeah? yeah okay. I'm, a, I'm happier than I've been in a long time. Okay. Well... In fact, I just posted a video on the front page of my website explaining how the new system works. Okay, well, I read your, I read both of your recent emails. I didn't see them until today, actually, when I decided, oh, I want to actually try to do Medieval Engineer server and get that set up for these guys. I, have, you know, I know that it was kind of sitting there waiting for me, and I never got around to activating it. But I had not actually gone and uh, done anything. So is it this multi no, not multiplayer first look and testing? I don't I don't I'm probably on I am on hosted space engineers, so it's on hosted engineers. It's the same website. It's on the front. Yeah, that's page. what I thought. It's right underneath the uh big banner. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. There's the big banner and then I just got Space Engineers dedicated hosting uh, dedicated server hosting plans. Uh try all the control and clicking refresh or pressing a five. Nope. There is a video but it's below it's down lower and that's the medieval oh. engineers thing. Hold on. I know what I know what the problem is. I forgot to uh turn off the cache. Uh huh. Okay. But anyway, so did that work? Apparently, that time I was on beta host dot hosted space engineer or beta hosting engineers, but no, it's still still not there. But anyways, I mean, I got the well. How much has changed from what that uh, email about uh, turning into a testing um, uh, service? Nothing. Okay, so I got I get the gist of it. I know what, what's what. Um, yeah. The hatchet. Give me a minute. We'll we'll be figuring out our next mission. I honestly don't know what the next mission is at this moment. Uh, we just did our first successful moon landing and re-entry or return so uh, we need well we gotta bring Jeb back so let's bring Jeb back next and then we'll worry about what's next we'll see what's in the mission lot reports and go from there actually we'll, we'll be looking at that too but uh, Travis right. go on ahead tell us a little bit about what's going on uh, I've
tried not to say too much on stream uh, right now because I don't know, you know, what's 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 happening, what's sticking, and you know what's not because both of those were two very contradictory emails that I got that I read at the same time that were 24 hours apart. So, so go on and sound off. I, I came back and I offered six months of free hosting to any of my customers that felt like they had a major grievance, you know, or received a service and. It ended up that it wasn't just 25 percent, and it ended up being about one third of my customers claimed the six months of free hosting. Yeah. And I was extremely discouraged by that. So what I did is I decided that I didn't want to be supporting all these people that uh, that didn't appreciate what I was doing because I was putting them before my family because I was, had like no time. I was completely overwhelmed by the by hosted engineers. I was, mm -hmm. In the last 30 days, we've uh, closed out 400 support requests. Wow. So it's getting to the point where it's, it's overwhelming, and I wasn't getting any more time to develop my control panel. Then I'd have new customers signing up, complaining about how crappy the control panel is, and that was even more frustrating. Yeah. So what I did is I put out that email to uh, to separate out the people from, who supported what I was doing from the people that didn't support what I was doing so then I could set it up for this the last email which explains the new paradigm and how I'm going to move forward and the new the new paradigm is that it's you're it's no longer customers that I'm supporting it's uh, contributors who are pay you know signing up for a contribution plan each that uh, they pay for each month and then they get a complimentary server um, and then the support is moving to the forums where it can be community-based support. And if people want to have the, the email support, then they can pay an additional fee for premium support. And then what the benefit of this is that all of the money um, goes back into the control panel and the service to improve the control panel and the service and do like development and research and all that kind of stuff to create the best control panel for space engineers, medieval engineers, and any other game that is based on a, a Keen Software's engine. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, welcome to Toxic Blah, how are you doing? Um, we're talking with uh, Travis Rowland, the owner of HostedSpaceEngineers.com, uh, one of the games that I uh, play quite a bit of. I've been taking a long break from Space Engineers, uh, to be honest, but uh, always planning on getting back to it. It is one of my favorite games. Just gotta, gotta take some time. But, um, yeah, he's uh, describing the new way that the company is going. Um, so, yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up, and it's really great that uh, I only had two, two more cancellations after... I sent out that those emails, and I had yeah. uh, four of my prior customers sign up. That good, good. You know, I know that this has been mainly about, you know, it's not really all about the money for you. It's more, more about, you know, getting this, uh, the ability to test your, your product out and everything. And, yeah, that's really cool. It sounds like uh, Travis is a little bit uh, low for people. Uh, on the stream, because I was asking you for to, tur to turn rather Travis's volume up. Do what I can. But his, his volume is fine for me, so I think it's something on your end. So yeah, that's that's all that's going on right now, and I'm extremely happy, and I feel extremely relieved. Yeah, I wanted to get in there. And news bags are gone. Yeah, I wanted to get in there and post something on that. Uh... Uh, forum or blog post that you had up there, uh, you know, where I saw, I went and read all the posts in there, and I was like, oh, but you kind of already closed that out, it looked like. Um, yeah, so I closed it because, uh, you know, the discussion was over, and yeah. I was digressing with all the trolls coming out, because they... I didn't see that many trolls, there's a, there was a couple of trolls, but I didn't see, it. yeah, it was mostly overwhelming support, you know, I, I couldn't really, I, I really couldn't believe that one guy who was just, who... Like uh, accused you of making uh, making up your wife's story, you know that's. Oh yeah, that's... my wife wanted to go to the theater and kill him. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's something, man. That takes balls. 
Oh man, it's not even balls. Like he doesn't have any brains. <laughs>